What's up guys, it's CJ here from Appenzeller Training Systems located in West Berlin, New Jersey, author of Baseball Strength 101, coming at you guys with another awesome topic for today's video. And this is all about in-season training and the benefits of the in-season training for the baseball athlete. Now, so many of uh, the college and high school baseball athletes throughout the United States get really great results working really hard in the off season with their strength, speed, power development, but then come to the in season and just kind of call it all quits, cut it all out and just kind of play the game and hope everything else takes care of itself. Some major mistake for several reasons, guys. The number one thing being all of the work that we put in the off season, by the end of the season, a lot of our progress has been washed away by the wear and tear of games and practices and the day-to-day -day grind of the high school or college baseball player. So here's some of the benefits to in-season training for you guys that are a little bit more specific than basically staying strong and powerful. Number one, throughout the season, the shoulder, the throwing shoulder of an athlete is gonna become internally rotated and the scap is gonna become anteriorly tilted, basically putting us in this bad forward shoulder position. That guy's gonna decrease our velocity, it's gonna put us at a bigger risk of injury, and it's also gonna have us not feeling as good on the field. So, through good in-season strength and conditioning, we can kinda of correct this problem and do what we would call damage control. The next thing is, our power development is all gonna to start to drop off at the end of the season if we do not do an in-season training program. And here's basically why. Throughout the off season, we've developed a ton of power and developed a ton of raw strength. However, when you're outside the gym walls and you're not training these qualities, they're gonna to start to decrease after only a short amount of time. Five to 10 days outside of the gym, we're already losing our gains or we're kind of decreasing our power and strength gains that we made in the off season. So a good in-season training program is gonna allow you to maintain your strength, maintain your body weight, and maintain your power throughout the season so you're peaked and performing at your best when the games truly count in the off season, in the playoffs, and when everybody's watching, there's all eyes on you. That's when you wanna be ready to go, and that's what in-season training allows you to do, guys. So there's two keys, keeping the throwing arm healthy throughout the season and doing damage control and also maintaining your power, speed, and strength development to have you playing your best at the end of the season. So guys, do not take your in-season training lightly. It is of the utmost importance that you have a great strength coach and you stay dedicated to your training throughout the in-season if you want to perform at your best all year long. Okay, guys, thanks for watching. Peace!